Okay, welcome to another episode of DeLorean Tech, and we are doing the Carbon Canyon run right now. We got 10 DeLoreans. We got nine DeLoreans behind us right now. <laughs> Very difficult to, to film that, um, but as we were coming down uh, one of the drops here in the canyon, the sight of, of nine DeLoreans behind you is, is pretty crazy. So we are getting a lot of footage here from uh, the rear view mirror dash cam setup. This is really cool. So we met up at the Carbon Canyon launch pad, David Daniels house, and we just left a little bit ago. And we're on our way to Lion Estates, 1955. Back to future filming location over there in Chino. So we've been taking some pretty windy roads and the KW suspension is doing really good. It's handling really well. Feels like I'm riding in a go-kart or something. It's, it's crazy. What a difference. Um, obviously, I've got some other suspension upgrades under the car, but the KW really, you know, lowers that center of gravity. So the, the handling is, is like night and day compared to last year's Carbon Cannon run, which, if you know, on the stock suspension. Uh, and I think I probably only had maybe Toby's polyurethane bushings on the car at the time. Uh, those did okay, but man, what a night and day difference it is taking this canyon and taking these really sharp uh, turns and these, uh, these winding roads. So we are approaching our first destination. This is the Back to the Future filming location for Lion Estates 1955. And it's just on the other side of this park right here. And we're gonna pass the, I don't say famous water tower, but there is a water tower in the scene where Marty is heading to Hill Valley. He's, he's walking on the side of the road and you can see a water tower in the background. Okay, so here we are turning down the Chino Corona Road. This is where they have the, uh, it's actually the women's prison where the water tower is. There it is right there, see it? <laughs> yeah. Famous water tower. So this is the road that Marty was traveling down after he hid the DeLorean behind the Lion Estates real estate sign. And you can see the water tower in the background as he's walking up the road. Then all of a sudden, the next scene, you see him in Hill Valley, so. so we're heading up to the facade. Hopefully we can just go through that gate. So I mean, it's open, it's open. So it looks like we're good. In one quarter mile, arrive at 17545 Kukanwanga Avenue on the right. Hey, you made it. I thought you were somebody else. You didn't tell me, you didn't tell me you were coming. <laughs>
everybody, so we made it to the Lion Estates location. We're just gonna do a run through of the DeLoreans that showed up today. So, first is Tim's car, 1983 DeLorean. This is the famous one from Beverly Hills Car Club that was restored by California, DMC California. This is our car, DeLorean Tech, DMC Time. Yeah, it's the uh, camera off, and it was probably a jib arm down the crane. Yeah, they want to get the jib off. arm, I'll get you about 15. That's all You know, they all start to look alike, but this is Brandon Fayette's car. You can tell by the, the charger he has in the ashtray. <laughs> and he's got his, uh, that's a cool um, little top part for the center console right there. A little add-on where he's got his Speedo, the Back to the Future Speedo. Yeah. 81 in time, Brandon Fayette. And here we go with Martin's time machine. Yeah, I need to turn on the clip, right? Vin 3005. <laughs> it's got all the props, it's got the JVC video camera, he's got all the awesome stuff in here. He's got everything that we need to get. He's basically got our list in the car installed, so. <laughs> and the next one is, so this is a Back to the Future Part 2 car, and then we have a Back to the, we have a Paradox here. We have a Back to the Future Part 1 car here at the same time as the Back to the Future Part 2. So definitely a time paradox. It happened during the movies, so we, we know that the DeLorean existed in two locations. Why they chose this location. No. So random. This is Romel and Daya's car from Delivering the Dream Part 2, Midwest Connection. It's a pretty badass car. He's got the new hand cooks. He's got the white lettering on the outside of the car. And they went ahead and added the white lettering to the front tires as well. It's pretty cool just to match because Front ones don't have so I white lettering. You know him, he's the time circuit dude. He makes the DMC. Yeah. Dude, um, sorry, the Back to the Future boss letter, yeah. right? time circuits. Yeah, that's he doesn't have any right now, but probably has them in the trunk. He's got the Back to the Future license. Let's see how many cars I can get. And this is Ken McMillan's car. 81, early 81, early bin, gas flap. Also got plenty of Back to the Future stuff going on. He actually does have the time circuits. That's one of Richard's time circuits right there. Although, hey, you don't have the proper size, size tires in the rear of the car. I'm just letting you know, that's a point. <laughs> Wait a minute, whose is it? Oh, oh, I was going off with the seat covers. <laughs> this is David's. <laughs> yeah, we had a delivery car. Alright, alright, alright. So this car is there. This should be Linda's, right? She had, they had the black interior. Hello. Has the black interior, that's how I know. So I'll give you a... Robert, you made it, dude. Hey, what's going on, man? <laughs> Good on, boss. Hey. Nice shirt, dude. Where's that? Yeah, that came out really. Out. Yeah, that's like, kind of actually not not that bad. It's not that bad. That's, that's the Roosevelt's one. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. So here is Christopher Hogarth's car from Delivering the Dream, well, Part guys. One. The car is doing really good. He's got his drone. So he's gonna be shooting some drone footage. Yeah, they all start to look alike after a while. Not even I can tell. If Chris yeah, Mapp were here, we'd be okay. Eddie, you can't say that. If Chris Mapp were here, we'd be okay. <laughs> okay, so this is Robert Legg's car. From such videos as Revenant at 11 with the DPI exhaust and also the front suspension makeover that we did in the airplane hangar, aircraft hangar at the airport. That was really fun. This car is badass. It's fast. I've been in it. I haven't driven it yet, but I mean, I can tell this car is, is much faster than your average DeLorean. He does have the DPI exhaust, but there's something else about it, man. I'm thinking stage two and you don't know about it. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Well, the guy, it's, it's who, you know, the, the guy who, uh, 
kind of went through the car after it sat for a long time was a Volvo, you know, the story goes, Volvo master mechanic, yada, yada. Oh, yeah. So supposedly he did some work. That's okay. all I know. But okay. yeah. Is it me or is the, the lower part? Yeah, you got a lower uh, extra balance. Yep, he has a, the, uh, it looks like it. Uh, yeah, it's been cracked since I got it, but. I, I never noticed that before yeah. for some reason. Yeah. Just kind of. Time to get rid of it. So we're all taking turns getting photos in front of the Lion Estates 1955 facade. 1955. Beginning of the movie. We're here on the Carbon Canyon run. We're headed to lunch right now. Better footage. Turn left at the traffic light. So this is really cool. So the two cars in front of us, the first one, Christopher Hogard from Delivering the Dream Part 1, and the second car is Romel and Daya's car from Delivering the Dream Part 2. So, and we are actually here on the same road where we filmed Delivering the Dream Part 1. So this is actually kind of cool. <laughs> so we are taking the really cool part of the Carbon Canyon run here, these crazy turns, and the KW suspension is really feeling good on these, these really winding roads here. There's no rubbing, the car is a lot lower than it was at stock height, but there's definitely no rubbing.
All right, so here we are, the Carbon Canyon Run Tech Day over here at Chris Hogard's. And we have, this is interesting because okay, we have yeah. a, a Delivering the Dream reunion here. So this is Chris Hogard's car from Delivering the Dream Part 1. And then we have Mel and Daya's car from Delivering the Dream Part 2 here, side by side. Did you put this down? No. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a sandwich. Yeah, but they're hard to get. I, I, yeah, I, saw, I, I saw your post yesterday, Chris. Oh, new alternators in. Yep. Looks good. Sweet. You see the old one? Here's the old one. Yeah, that's it, dude. Motorola that's 90 amp. Yeah, mine had the same melting stuff yeah. here at the bottom as well. Yep. Yeah, that one. Uh, that's in. Time to go. Time yeah, to go. for sure. So you ended up getting the Duralast one then, huh? Yeah. Cool. Did you get it from, uh, who did you get it from, Rock Auto or? AutoZone. AutoZone, okay. Yeah. Yeah, cool. And with a 15% discount. Nice. It's always good to get a discount. All right, everybody. That's the video. Thanks again for watching. And we'll see you at Carbon Canyon year three next year. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do differently next year, but we'll find out. Anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching.